broad daylight, I saw someone get raped. I was raped, bullied, picked on, oh. stripped naked, robbed. Did somebody get stabbed? You mean like someone robbed me with a machete today of all my stuff? Yeah, Hit in the head with crowbars and bats. <laughs> I saw you get shot in the back of the head. Somebody getting shot? Do they live? No. You will end up getting hurt out here. The other homeless people are like your worst enemy. These people do not play out here. Besides, I have weapons. I have, I have my protections. Okay. What kind of weapons? <laughs> Bats, hatchets, knives, mace, tasers. And what's your drug of choice, brother? Uh, heroin. Um, crystal meth. Meth and heroin. Crystal meth. Meth? meth? Yeah. I don't know anybody that doesn't smoke. You don't know anybody that doesn't smoke meth? No. We no. saw a woman who was pregnant just now. Yeah, what is she smoking? Fitting. She's smoking fentanyl? Yeah. And she's eight months pregnant? Yeah. So are you seeing more people showing up in psychotic states naked now than say yes. two, three years ago? Yes, I think so. My job was to intake homeless individuals on the street. I don't have to be on the streets. I just choose to be. You just choose to be? A lot of people are out here because they want to be out here. Everyone, I mean everyone's usually has a serious drug problem. They kind of just kind of quit society. This right now is it's literally by choice. Did you get the sense that I cared whether they were on drugs or not? No, def that, and I'm not trying to be like crazy with it, but definitely not. I mean, if we're gonna be realistic, they pay you to be homeless here. They make it so easy and normalize it. Drug dealers are just being let go over and over and over. It's like the cops are, it's like they're your neighbor, you know? They enable them because they allow the open air drug market. Open street dealing like that? With the cops just across the street, like, Watching them. I think they've given up on the people that are out there on the street.